Okay, so this was originally supposed to be a review video, but a lot of people are already reviewing their Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, otherwise known as the Magic Beans or whatever. So I figured I'd do my usual thing and talk about its whole gaming experience, and long story short, hasn't been that great. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Alright, so for starters, I am currently using a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, so, you know, it's, of course it's going to be designed to use these perfectly in tandem with each other, so I don't have to worry about any kind of weird discrepancies between its connections. Speaking of connections, this thing will connect to my phone using the specialized Samsung scalable codec, which is Samsung's own little thing in to compete with Apple's H1 chip connection stuff. Basically, it has more control over like the whole connection status and whatever. And because of that, Samsung also has their own specialized gaming mode, which is supposed to lower latency on these earbuds when you're playing games from a Samsung device. The problem is the low latency is kind of unstable. And it's not because of like, all the connections and various other like wireless devices around you. It seems to be a very per game basis. And before somebody asks, yes, the gaming mode for the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus and the Galaxy Buds Live only work on Samsung devices because they have access to the app. Even then, with the gaming mode on, the latency is still noticeable. Let's take a look at it. For this test, I'm gonna be using Terraria with the music turned off so you can hear the button sounds a little bit better. And in this test, it's just the phone speakers themselves. So the audio and the visual should be quite instantaneous with every button press. Now I'm gonna use the Galaxy Buds Live with one earbud on the mic. As you can see, there's quite a delay, and I'm not even going to show you what it's like in-game because it's basically the same thing. The only difference being background sound noises. And to further salt the wounds of the gaming mode failure, the Apple AirPods Pros have lower latency. Once again, I'll do the same method where I have one of the earbuds on the mic so you can hear. And you'll notice less latency than the Buds Live. On the other hand, some games have better latency, but it's still kind of noticeable. First with the phone speakers. And now the Galaxy Buds Live. The safe zone is collapsing. But even in a game where the Buds have pretty low latency, Apple's AirPods Pros manage to match that level of latency and doesn't have a gaming mode. This is just its standard state of being with AAC. As you just heard, the AirPods Pro have a decent level of latency on non-Apple devices. But when paired with a proper Apple device, the latency is super tight and is really good for gaming. And unfortunately, this is something that Samsung did not replicate. Their Buds Live have decently low latency on their Samsung devices and really meh latency on every other device. Now I'm not saying that the beans are bad overall because they sound good and I do like them. It's just that when it comes to gaming and the whole gaming mode lower latency kind of stuff, it's just not good enough. Their scalable codec is proving itself to only be about as fast as AAC, which is by the way slower than Aptex, which their phones also support. That said, if you're looking for lower latency earbuds for gaming, you're better off looking for a set that supports Aptex. Just make sure that your phone also supports Aptex because that's equally important. If your phone doesn't have Aptex, it won't utilize it from the earbuds. Now, if you're looking for a phone that can use Aptex LL, they don't really exist. Also, Aptex LL is now retired and is being replaced with Aptex Adaptive, which is able to be used more in phones. In fact, you'll find some gaming phones use it, like the ROG phone. And hopefully in the future, we'll see more smartphones also use Aptex Adaptive. Anyway, this is pretty much all I got for this video. It's been short. I want to keep it concise because I want to get to the point for you guys. And if you like that, go ahead and like the video. And you loved it, go ahead and subscribe to it. If you didn't like it, well, you can get out of here. That's just how this thing goes. But if you did like it, remember to hit the notification bell so you know when I am posting next, and that's all I got for today, and I am tired. <laughs> <laughs>